lucky supermarket on Beach Boulevard in Huntington Beach. Tastes like Christmas candy. <laughs> They're talking about Lipo Vuitton, the refreshing liquid vitamin drink. Lipo Vuitton. Yeah, what's this going to do to me? Make me like Superwoman. I guess if I had to take vitamins, I'd rather drink it than swallow it. Lipo Vuitton's got B1, B2, B6, and even niacin. And it's a cool, delicious way to get your vitamins. Great way to take vitamins. Oh, yeah, I think that liquid vitamin's probably a lot better than a vitamin pill that it's already dissolved. A healthy vitamin drink. Well, here's to my health, huh? <laughs> it's time for you to try refreshing Lipo Vuitton, the liquid vitamin drink. Pick up a bottle or two of this liquid acid at your nearby Vons, Ralph's, Lucky, or other supermarket. Yeah, I'd say it tastes like you're drinking uh, fruit vitamins. After I finish this, I'm going home to see my wife. <laughs> J.M. O'Neill Mortgage. Now, that's a familiar name to California homeowners. Hi, I'm Tracy Miller, and come to think of it, you've heard their message on KFI longer than just about anyone. And while other mortgage companies come and go, it's nice to know that, like an old friend, J.M. O'Neill Mortgage has always been there to lend a helping hand through the good times and the bad. And if you need a home loan, but you've been turned down elsewhere, if you've gotten behind on your mortgage payments, or... You need money for any reason at all. Don't let your financial problems get out of hand. There is a better way. You can call J.M. O'Neill Mortgage today. They can qualify you right over the phone. They'll even fill out all the paperwork. And listen to this. If you apply for your loan by July 31st, there are no upfront costs. No upfront appraisal fee, no application fee, no upfront credit reporting fee. So what are you waiting for? Call J.M. O'Neill Mortgage, a California Department of Real Estate licensed broker, at 1-800-637-4041. J.M. O'Neill Mortgage, 1-800-637-4041. All right, it's Saturday night. Everybody's gone home. You're laying there passed out on the floor. You're drooling all over yourself, and you're an arm's length away from a radio. Hey, tune me on. It's the late Bill Smith Show, Saturday nights, 1 a.m. to 5 a.m., KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. Twelve fifty-five, five minutes before the end of the Ask Mr. KFI show for a Saturday night. And this is... Uh, this is the show that has no guests, no topics, no screener, as we've so beautifully displayed here this evening on the Ask Mr. KFI show. And these are the final fleeting moments, uh, what we call Ask Mr. KFI, and uh, it is the most cost-effective show currently broadcasting in North America. It is just Mr. KFI and a 50,000-watt microphone to pummel you into submission. I wanted to say thanks to uh, Scott Hassock, who I always seem to forget to thank. He's the uh, board engineer here at KFI and, uh, and the technical director of the Ask Mr. KFI show. We're going to spend a couple more minutes and uh, take a few more calls. Try and work in that what happened there phrase, inspired by Jane Bellas Mitchell of Channel 9. Try and work that into conversation without being too obvious this week. And we'll see if uh, we don't make any inroads into the, uh, into the uh, American language during the next week, and we'll pick up where we left off uh, next Saturday at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. is uh, my time slot here on KFI, and uh, join us next Saturday. We'll do more of this. Opposite me on Sundays, it's Hugh Hewitt from 10 to 1. Listen to Hugh tomorrow. I'm sure he's got uh, lots of things to tell you about, talk to you about, and inspire you, and uh, make you think and provoke you and all the things that Hugh Hewitt does on a weekly basis. We're going to go back to the lines and uh, talk with whomever is on line four. The hostile local lines. Go ahead. All right, see what I mean? That's what I mean by hostile. They hang up before you can even get them on. Line three. Hi, you're on with Mr. KFI. Uh, hello? Yep. I did your mama last night. What happened? Uh, okay, line two. Hi, you're on with Mr. KFI. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you notice uh, that all the evening temperatures were 69 degrees? Now, what happened there? Yeah, really. Thanks for the call. Line three. Hi, you're on with Mr. KFI. Hello? You're, you're on. Hey, Mr. KFI. That's me. Good show. Thanks. Line two. Hi, you're on with Mr. KFI. Go ahead, line two. Your theme song, what happened there? Oh, great question. Theme song. We're, we're, it should premiere next week. I know I've promised two weeks in a row, and I've, I've disappointed all you uh, Mr. KFI fans. And uh, we're going to try and get you... Uh, we're going to try and get that theme, theme song next Saturday. Listen for it. It'll open the show next Saturday. 
I'm pretty sure it's a done deal, okay? Sir? Yep. How do you, how exactly do you pumble us into submission? Okay, with 50,000 watts. All right, line one. Hi, you're on with Mr. KFI. Yeah, can you name the seven wonders of the earth? Can I, because I can only name one. Uh, I'll name one if you name one. Okay, well, one of them is your mom's face. Hey, your humor is biting. I know. Yeah, is that the best you can do is talk about my mom's face? And your dad's. Hey, that's even funnier. I know. You know, I used to make jokes like that. Then I had my seventh birthday. Line three. Hi, you're on with Mr. KFI. Go ahead. Okay, I got a joke for you. What do you uh, call 500 Indians with no nipples? Oh, uh, this is going to be dirty. I got to got to hover over the dump button. Go ahead. The Indian nipple is 500. That's funny. Thank you. Line six. Hi, you're on the hostile local lines. Go ahead. Sir, what happened there? Really? Unbelievable. Huh? All right. Hey, um, can I make a bet with you? You've been in prison... I'd like to bet you uh, five smokes. All right, you're on. Line four. Hi, you're on with Mr. KFI. Go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to know. Line three. You're on with Mr. KFI. Go ahead. Um, I have a very important question for you, Mr. KFI. Well, we don't have a lot of time. Spill I know. it. Um, whatever happened to Isaac from the love boat? Oh, boy. You know, it's a tragic story, and it's one that I'd like to tell. Maybe I can start the show next Saturday, what happened to Isaac from the love boat, because uh, it's heart-wrenching and... Uh, it's a little too sad for me to end the show with, and I want to kind of end on an up note. What happened there? It's gone up to 1 o'clock. This is KFI Los Angeles, more stimulating talk radio. The network news is coming up from the Associated Press with national and international headlines. Then stick with Bill Smith. He's on till 5 a.m. AP Network News. Good morning. I'm Larry Brown. Wide parts of the Midwest are taking another weather pounding this morning. Storm advisories of one sort or another are up for parts of Kansas, Missouri, and Iowa. Some communities have had a foot of rain over the past couple of days, and all that water is going to mean more flooding along the Mississippi and Missouri rivers and their tributaries. Forecasters look for another crest on the Mississippi at St. Louis next Sunday at a record 48 feet. Meteorologist Dave Ward in Omaha, Nebraska, says figuring out how high the rain's going to push the rivers and when is not an easy thing to do. It's very sophisticated, and it isn't always accurate because it's assuming a basin-wide average rainfall. And what we've been having over the past couple of days is areas where we get isolated amounts as much as six or even eight inches, but... Um, only 10 miles away from that point, maybe only an inch or two fell, which is still a large amount. Flooding along the Missouri River has shut down the water plant in St. Joseph, Missouri. Frantic efforts to pile up sandbags around the plant last night proved not enough. The Pentagon still trying to calculate damage to an Iraqi missile site attacked by a U.S. warplane yesterday after gunners locked onto the plane with radar. The Iraqis apparently fired back at the plane but missed. U.N. weapons inspectors are due in Baghdad shortly. They'll be trying to install surveillance cameras at two Iraqi missile test sites. President Clinton plans more meetings today as he keeps up the pressure on congressional bargainers over his deficit fighting plan. The AP's Leslie Sawyer has the story from Washington. It was the subject of his weekly radio address and a meeting with two Democratic senators. In the broadcast message taped Friday, Clinton accused his critics of distorting the amount of taxes Americans will have to pay under the plan. He said a middle-class family of four making $50,000 a year would have to pay just $50 more a year in energy taxes. And he said by taking advantage of interest rates that are at a 22-year low, homeowners and businesses can save more than they'll be asked to pay in higher taxes. Clinton also met with Senators David Boren of Oklahoma and Bennett Johnston of Louisiana and planned to meet with more senators on Sunday. Leslie Sawyer, AP Network News, Washington. Illinois Congressman Dan Rostenkowski, one of the key players in the deficit talks, says allegations linking him to the House banking scandal are false and baseless. He called the news conference yesterday to denounce the reports. His lawyers demanded that a Bush era prosecutor stop talking about the case. This is AP Network News. KFI, Los Angeles. Boris Yeltsin has cut short his summer vacation to return to Moscow to defend his economic reforms against an assault by pro-communists in the Russian legislature. He's had no comment on the latest shocker for Russian citizens, a surprise announcement by the central bank yesterday that the old ruble will no longer be legal tender after tomorrow. The AP's Sergei Shargorodsky, who says the announcement sent Muscovites scrambling to get rid of their old money. So many people rushed to, to the savings banks to change their, uh, their money, and they, were, they found these banks closed, or some banks they were told that there is no exchange today. Many people are on vacation out of the city, 
or 